Hi everyone, it's Gail. We have some fun things today. Um, this is the main thing of this video is going to be a little uh, friend request that I do a video on making a writing board. Um, I've done that before, but it's been quite a while. So um, we are going to start working on this slow stitch journal. And so it's a perfect time because there's going to be lumpy bumpies in this one. <laughs> And so a writing board for this journal is an awesome idea. So that we're going to do that. Um, and I've, I've got just a couple of Etsy shares that I'll probably use in this journal. So I thought we'd do that. I'm going to flip through the one we finished yesterday. I, fi I finished it. There was just like one thing to do. And so we're just going to get started. I want to say hi and hugs to Nancy, Betty, Rochelle and Maggie, thank you so much for watching and for your nice, nice comments. I am just going to clear out a couple of things there. Okay, this we will address in a minute. And so, first of all, let's just look through this book real quick. So, Chunky Monkey, oh, it feels so great in your hands. I love it. <clears throat> and, um... It's all done. Uh, the uh, the tie is some um, coffee dyed pink seam binding, and it just goes really well with these butterflies. So <clears throat> I'm so sorry I have a frog. You, excuse me a minute. <clears throat> ah, maybe water will help that. Okay, so I thought we'd just flip through real quick. I didn't put anything in the on the cover pockets because um it's a fat fat journal already so things could be moved from the journal into that if if people wanted to i'm not going to take things out of the pockets remember we put on these stickers yesterday so fun i really like how those turned out you know what i really love that showing so i might just go ahead and pop this in here I think so. <laughs> Excuse me while I rearrange a little bit. <laughs> so um, this is the, that is uh, from the kit. That is what that's from. A little paper clip. We have this and this beautiful tag that was gifted to me. Um, Yep, I'm real happy with this one, guys. Real happy with this one. This one is um, one of the benefits of being... I said I wasn't going to take things out of the pocket. I'm, I'm so used to doing that. Um, one of the benefits of being a member of my Patreon is quarterly, they get an um, early bird notification of journals that are going in my Etsy. And so I think this is going to be this quarter's Patreon early bird um, notification benefit. So yeah, oh, I just love it. I, it really did. It really did come together. And I was just kind of, well, first of all, I was totally tickled by these stickers, as you know from yesterday. <laughs> but I was also tickled about how it kind of just came together with some of the little girl tags. And it just, that, that whole thread kind of just really just sort of um, happened. I don't know. So this is the one that I uh, decorated yesterday after we got done with the video. So put that there. So that's just a page full of little girls right there. And this one. And then the back of it, signed it. And then the back, the back uh, pocket. So yeah, so one shabby chic journal done, done and done. And then um, I wanted to share a few, a couple of Etsy orders that I received or Etsy things I received yesterday. Okay, uh, so I was telling you that my friend Lorette, oh, I have to show you how cute she packaged this. 
So isn't that cute in the in the bag? I thought that was so cute. So I yeah, I didn't open it because you guys would want to see. So um, a jewel design has a sub shop called Vintage Paper Girl. And I ordered some things that I think are going to just be so perfect in my journal. So I want to get them out and, um, and, uh, oh, silly girl. She did something just for me. So this must be what I ordered. <laughs> oh, she's the best. Uh, anyways, uh, what was I going to say? Oh yeah. I want to get them in its basket in its ephemera basket. Oh, look at how fun. Yes. Yes. So there's this one. This is a uh, journaling, journaling tags and card. And this is a vintage rose it's called. So look at how pretty she does such a good job. So this is a napkin and then she's got layering and oh, I love it. Love it. It's going to be perfect for these journals. Awesome. So without further ado, here is my little bucket for this journal. I have so much stuff for this journal. And then I have another bucket, you know, that's general. So I'm going to put those right in there because they're most likely going into this one. And then this is Pink Shabby Lace Glitter Word Clusters. And aren't those adorable? Oh my gosh, I love her layering. And she's used some of Claudia's flowers. Claudia, timeless crochet for you. On her on her clusters and these words come from um, a jewel design so yeah so I got six six of those and I think these are going to be really fun on pockets or whatever so I think what I'm going to do with these I'm going to put them back in the bag and I'm going to put these in the general this is my general because um, I think for decorating some things, those will be perfect. So put that in there. Okay, and let's see, let's see what extra she said. She's such a sweetheart. Okay. Shabby notebook, custom made just for you. Ah. Oh my gosh. And she does have these in the shop because I, I have, I have seen them. Oh my goodness. And she has restocked her shop. So hopefully by the time this airs, oh, look at how beautiful. Oh, Lorette, it's gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. Look at this. Isn't that pretty? Aww. Oh, these, she just does such a good job on her layering. It's just amazing. And it's just a little notebook. It's a little tiny journal. Oh, and it has her name. Thank you, Lorette. Thank you so much. Yep. This is, you know what this will be perfect for is my next gratitude journal. I love it. Thank you so much, Lorette. I love it, love it, love it. It's so sweet of you. Okay, so there's that. She said, extra special thank you just for you. She just spoiled me. There's a pencil that says, Grow, Learn, and Blossom. A belly band and a little pocket. Oh, this is so cute. This could go, this could go really well in one of these journals too. I'm just kind of looking over my shoulder at, at which one. 
And then she sent a thank you. Oops. Got too excited and ripped the bag. Oh, so cute. Oh. Oh, I was her very first customer. <laughs> oh. Thanks, Lorette. Oh, you're going to do great. Your stuff is awesome. And so she just sent a little thank you with some fun little journaling cards and stuff. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you so much, Lorette. I am so excited to use those little... Um, those little pieces in these shabby chic journals. It's going to be awesome. Okay, I'm going to pop that in the bag. And then we have one more thing to look at. And then we are going to start on our writing board. Okay, so um, this is from Susan Woods. And Susan is Hello Susan on Etsy. And I think it's new kits. It is. It's new kits. Maybe I should, I don't know what to open first, but look how pretty, how she just, sometimes the packaging from Etsy is as fun as what you get, isn't it? Okay, let's just, let's just rip open here and see what we've got. I just had to show you guys the packaging too. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. So she, she's made a couple things. I want to show you her kits though first. So it's looking like these are things made, possibly made with the kits. So, oh my goodness. Kit apparently handle. Okay, yep, they were made with the kits. So I, let's look at the kits first. I love her little card. I always use this part in <laughs> collage. <laughs> okay. Susan, what have you been up to? I think she, there, one's a fall and one's a um, Christmas. Oh my goodness, yes. Vintage Autumn. Isn't that beautiful? Vintage Autumn. Let me make sure I'm in camera. And let's flip through. Oh, look at how pretty. I love her designs. It's just, it amazes me how different everyone's designs can be, you know, for like the autumn theme. Oh, how cute is that? That is so cute. Middle page, that says to me, middle page. Oh my gosh. And the owl. That is beautiful, Susan. Nice job. Oh, look at these pretty Oh man, I might have to do another autumn journal. I may be doing one in the middle of winter because I just, I do love them. Oh my gosh, look at the Christmas. I happen to need, I think I happen to need an X, another one for the Christmas journals I have planned. So we'll just use Susan's. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it, Susan. It's so pretty. So pretty. Thank you so much for allowing me to show this. Oh, it's just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. So this piece of paper that she wrote on is this. That's really cute. And then some tags. Oh my gosh, Susan. I love, love, love them. Love them both. Awesome. So look what she made from the Christmas one. Um, I think I'll just, in the interest of time, look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's one of those things that makes my brain hurt, but so, so cool. That is so awesome. So she, handmade by Susan Wood. Susan Woods. That is so cool, Susan. Thank you. Oh, might have to might have to try and wrap my brain around that one. <laughs> try and make one. Oh, and then this is the fall one she made. Oh my goodness. Isn't that beautiful? Look how she 
Look what she did with this little squirrel dude. Oh, he's so cute. And then there's a little a little journal here. I think it's a journal. Let's open it and see. Yeah, it's a little journal with tags and stuff. Oh my goodness. She shrunk everything down. Susan, so cool. You are so creative. My goodness. Oh, just awesome. Just awesome. Thank you so much. Wow. So, yeah. So, hello, Susan on Etsy. Hello, Susan. She will be in the description box. Wowie. So, yes. Thank you, Susan. Thank you for all of this. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use that Christmas one in my upcoming Christmas journal. Okay, then I quick like want to remind you that ePaper is a new Etsy that has ste steampunk and Halloween. And then Home Book and Treasure um, has 15% off for viewers, Gale 15. Three Insistent Dogs has 10% off until October 14th. So I'll put them in the description box as well. Okie dokie then. Let's get to the task we have before us today, which is a request from my friend Carrie the Crafter. Yay, Carrie. So, writing board. Um, this is a piece of chipboard. It, I, I cut it nine by six and um it's it's a very thick chipboard if you have like thinner chipboard like maybe the backs of a tablet or something you can you can cut two and um glue them together and just make it good and thick so that it can go over the lumpy bumpies in your journal okie dokie so this is how i do it i cover cover this with tissue paper. I've got this gorgeous tissue paper that I'm going to use. And um, I use it because it's when all said and done, it's good and smooth on, on the board. So I better grab something so I don't get Mod Podge everywhere. Um, got a piece of paper here we could use. Okay. Alrighty then. We, all we have to do is get this tissue paper Mod Podge on. Oh, I, I just, this is my opener thingy and I just threw it aside <laughs> and opened the jar. Apparently it's not stuck today. Okay, um, and I am going to dry off my brush really well if I can. Um, I thought I'd, I'd go ahead and Mod Podge this first because then it can dry and we can we can do the rest of what I like to do to them. So I can show you. I looks like I need to get some more Mod Podge. I think I I think a little trip to Hobby Lobby might be in order. I don't know. So. Hope everybody's having a great day. I'm excited because I don't have anything on the agenda today. So I am going to craft my little heart out. I might do two videos. Um, just because I'm feeling good today, but I've had a couple days of not feeling well. I'm like... I want to get ahead a couple videos so that if I have one of those days I can have I can have myself a little sick day okay okay so now I am going to go ahead and pick this up I'm gonna move this because it's all uh, full of Mod Podge and I am just going to lay this down like so. Let's smooth that down. Now it's going to have 
a few little wrinkles, but remember it'll be under a page, but I try and smooth it as much as I can. And then we'll do the other side, um, which I don't need that paper under because I've got the tissue itself. Okay, I'm gonna kinda try and get down this side a bit. And I'm just, what I'm gonna do is just fold it over. Here, once I get some of the Mod Podge all spread out here. So this morning, my husband had himself a little project. He, um, yesterday, he went to Costco and he bought two of the, among other things, he bought two of the rotisserie chickens and he got them all cut up and everything. And this morning he made pasties. I don't know, do they, do, you, do are pasties all over or is that a Montana thing? I don't know. Um, Butte, Montana is famous for its pasties. So I'm just pulling it tight without putting too much stress on it so that it would tear or anything. Okay, Look, a little wrinkle there, work that out. Um, yeah, so I got up this morning and he was just all sorts of busy already making, already making pasties. <laughs> it's like, you rock. Okay, so I'm not happy about the glue on here. I wonder if I can just get it off. I just don't want my piece to stick, you know. There, I think we're okay. Okay, so now I'm going to Mod Podge the, the front side or the outside side, just so that we don't, um, just so that it's it's stronger is basically the only reason. So I'm just gonna do this side and then we'll have to do the other side in a minute. Yeah, so thank you, Carrie, for the idea of doing this. I was like, you know, I really need to do that because the um, this particular journal is going to, I think, have more lumps and bumps because I'm going to put the snippets in it and things like that that have pearls and buttons and whatever. So this will be awesome. Okay, so I am just going to leave that for a moment to dry. I'm just going to set it over out of our way for a minute so that we can continue on with something else. Okay, I think I'll go ahead and put this away. And I'm going to prepare something else, which was, this was one of my middle of the night ideas. Had one of those sleepless nights last night. Again, I don't know what's wrong with me. Okay, so I had this idea of, see, these pages are white on the other side. I think originally I printed them to be... Um, I printed them to be collage pages. So two, four, six, eight, ten. Oh, okay. It's, it didn't feel like there was enough pages in here. It's what I was doing. So um, I have this. I'm not sure where that print came from. Laurel, if you watch, you could say well, this was one of the ones Laurel printed for me. Um, but my thought was to, I think I might do this one right here. Um, I'll show you what my thought was. 
I'm going to back this page with this page, even though it's got prettiness there. So I want to cut it the same exact size as this. First things first. Okay, where's a pencil? Got it. Oh my goodness. I moved. I moved my rolly cart back a little bit to give me more room to for my chair and stuff. And now I can't reach it. So <laughs> that was a bad idea. Okay, there and here. Just have to take off a little bit before we do. My other thought, I have no idea if this is going to work. So if it doesn't, I might have to find another page to put in the journal. super straight okay and then I'm gonna go this way too that's pretty good okay now my thought was to fold this in half. This is um, it's a bit it's a bit tricky because it's real thick paper. I think Laurel originally thought it would be a good um, it would be a good cover. Okay, so we're like ten and three quarters. Oh gosh, this means math, doesn't it? Okay, so five and one, two, three, four, five, six, so three, five and one, two, three. So this should be the middle, theoretically. Woohoo! <laughs> it's the middle. Okay, okay. So far, so good. So far, we are doing okay. Let's see. I want it this way. Nope, I want it this way. Oops. So that it's going to fit in there. Okay. So here was my thought. Let me give that a little bone folder. So here was my thought. I want to take a... Um, what you call it? <laughs> Sorry, I was I was looking and deciding. I I want to take a border punch, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this, but okay. So I wanted to punch up to here on the top where does it start I guess it starts right here so I might just have to kind of eyeball that a little bit okay we're gonna try it okay and then I'm gonna go this away are lined up Ugh. hard very hard <laughs> hard to press okay 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 we did it so that's across that way and then what I wanted to do is go down this side so kind of like kind of like make two different pockets <sighs> this is harder than oh son of a gun 
I did that. Okay, well, let's see if I can do it again. <laughs> and it'll look like it was on purpose. <sighs> it does. It looks like it was on purpose. <laughs> okay, that worked out. Oh, sometimes the crafting gods are just with you. Okay. So I just need to snip that off. Okay, this is, I think, going to turn out. So um, what I want to do is just kind of cut these. It's just got a little bit of a edgy thing on it, a little strip. Just cut that. Okay, so now this will be on this page like so, and then um, I'm going to glue here, I'm going to glue up here and up here, and we're going to have pockets. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I think that's going to work just fine. Okay. Okay, so let's glue. Wow. And meanwhile, it looks like our writing board is starting to, to dry. It's got kind of a fun, grungy look because of the color of the chipboard, which I didn't plan, but I like. Okay, so I'm just going to put dots on this and go here and here. I think I'm just going to do one side at a time just so that I don't make myself too crazy. Okay. Lined up with that page. Oh. Feel like it's not straight. I might have spoken too soon about the crafting cots. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have that down and then I'm going to just run a bead up that and down that. And fold this over. Okay. Oops. Squished out a little bit. Okay. I might have to trim off a little, but I think it, it did what I wanted it to do. Okay, so now we have a little pocket up there and a little pocket on the side. I'm just going to clip these off ever so slightly okay okay so that is that <laughs> and I'm not quite done I had another idea on it but let's check Let's check Mr. Writing Board. He's, I think he's dry enough for us to Mod Podge the other side, which is good. Um, because we have more work to do on him. So we'll just put a little Mod Podge on the other side. Okay. And where it's folded over, I'm just going to brush a little along there, too, just to make that a little tougher right there, too. So, again, I haven't, I haven't watched any videos on making a writing board. I made one years and years ago. Um, 
for a boho journal because there's so many sequins and stuff like that. But, um, and I didn't know anyone else had that idea <laughs> at that time. So, um, I've never watched any videos where people made writing boards, so I don't know how other people do it, but this is just how I do it. As usual, you get the gale away for, for good, bad, or ugly. <laughs> Alrighty then, done and done. So we can get rid of our, I'm gonna set this back over to dry and we're gonna work on the other one a little bit more. And we're gonna get rid of all of this stuff. So that we have room. Okay, so now, what I wanted to do, I have this, I have this stamp set. It's a Ruby Rocket and it's called Bolt and it's a sewing one. And I think I want to take the zigzags and like go along as if it was zigzagged on. Uh, grab a little acrylic block. Then I kind of have to decide what color I want of ink. I'm going to just got a little bit of the digital hanging over the bottom, so I'm just going to cut it off. And so we look more matched up. So, all right, um, gosh, I think I might go black just because there is some black in the, um, di this digital. So, okay, let's, um, I do have this stamp in my Gail's Favorite Things on my website. I, um, I had heard at one point that it was sold out, but that was a long time ago so maybe they have it back in stock again okay just gonna line that up okay and i have a lot better luck if i go ink pad to stamp instead of the other way around stamp to ink pad Probably get a paper underneath of me. Yes. Just get one of my stamping papers underneath of me so I can go off the edge a little bit. Oops, it was a little globby, but it's okay. Heaven knows my sewing isn't perfect either. Yep, laid awake thinking about this last night. Why, oh why, <laughs> can't I sleep? I think some of it's the going on in the world, goings on in the world, to be honest with you. I do think that's some of it. Okay, that's gonna be interesting. I think what I'm gonna do is somewhere here, hopefully, there's a little piece of notebook paper. I'm just going to set that there because I'm going to try and just stamp that area. And I can...
just go like so. Yep. Perfect. Awesome. All righty then. That page is done. Just going to stamp that off a little bit. Yeah, and this is a perfect solution when you don't have a sewing machine, I would say. Okay, throw that back in the drawer. And for this, okay, so this page is done. Let's put it back in the book and see if we like it. Oh, if you hear some talking or some noise, the guys are here to blow out our sprinklers. So see how nice, oh, that's cute. Yay, that's a fun idea. Don't know if I haven't seen it, but again, why not original? Okay, what I'm gonna do, it's still a little tacky, but I am gonna cut around this because I want Yep, you're probably hearing the guys talking. Sorry about that. But I didn't want to not do a video just because I knew they were coming. Okay, and then we're going to go this away. Just cutting right along the edge, as close as you can get. And then after we do this, we are going to clean these scissors because... I was having a little trouble with them cutting and I think it's because they need a clean. And I haven't shown that in a long time, so maybe that'll help somebody too. Um, okay, and this. And this uh, writing board is going to live in the back of the journal. It's just gonna sit in the back. Um, the back cover is all okay so we pretty well got that okay I'm gonna let that dry a little bit more we're gonna clean the scissors let's see oh goodness okay they're walkie talkie um, alcohol swabs you can get them at the grocery store or Walmart or whatever and so I'm just gonna take one and run it along the um, blades and like I can see there's a couple globs of glue right here and it will just kind of take it off. I am so mean to my scissors there is no doubt I'm not a good scissors mom not a good sewing machine mom you know all I can really do is human children <laughs> as far as being a good mother goes uh, hopefully my ch my kids would agree with that. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. So I just have one little gob right there. That, I don't know. That may be just a chunk out of the scissor blade. Oh, nope. I got it. Okay. So now I'm just going to carefully go along here. And before we started, I um, cut through. I cut through um, aluminum foil. <laughs> they're they're very uh, boisterous. Our sprinkler guys. <laughs> okay, so we should be. Good to go. Okay, I'm going to see if I can pull this off of here. Kind of. And keep this piece of tissue for something else. Put it in my scraps. 
Okay, so then the next thing I want to do with this is, gosh, I've got a mess over there. I'm going to have to clean that up before the next video. Okay, that's still a little bit wet. Okay, I seem to have glued the edges pretty well, which is good. But one of the things I like to do um, is take one of my big brush markers, Faber-Castell big brush markers, and I just like to run it along there. Then if any of the um, chipboard is not covered by the tissue, it's all going to blend in with this nice sort of brown border on the edge here. If you have any little bits that are sticking up, like I have some right there, I'll show you. Um, whoa. I'm telling you what, I need to roll that rolly cart closer again. Um, so I have some kind of pieces right here. So I'm just gonna take my um, fingernail file and just file them off like that. Best to do that before you do the marker. Yeah, looks okay. This one. Okay. Uh, now, hush that. It's noisy doing the sprinklers, but good to have it done. My husband got his last mowing in. So he's done with that for the season. It'll be on to the snowblower before we know it. <laughs> now where this is um, folded over, I'm just going to do the same thing. Just run the marker along there just so it all has a has a bit of a, a framing, if you will. Okay. Now, if you want to, you can um, distress the edges. I'm not going to, I don't think, on this one. But what I want to do is um, I want to put some lace on the edges because, as I said, this is going to just sit in here. And so if I put some um, lace on the edges, that will kind of hang out. And I've already picked out my lace because we can go right along that edge and this still gives you a good surface for writing on the pages. And of course, because it's loose in the book, you can adjust it as you're going along the, um, along the way. This is just some Hobby Lobby lace, but I liked it because I can put another lace right there is what I'm gonna do. Thanks. So noisy. Okay. Um. <laughs> I just have stuff everywhere. You guys would laugh. Okay. So let's get a little Faber Tack. Can you hear that? Oh my goodness! It sounds like I don't know what. Sounds very noisy. It was so cute. My youngest daughter texted today and she texted a picture of the three, her three kids and um, they got a new dining room table and it has a bench on it. Well, we had a bench um, on our dining room table when my kids were growing up and I had four kids. Um, the, the two older ones and then um, the the younger ones were are let's see three years younger than so my son then two years then my daughter then three years and my da uh, my daughter and then uh, my last daughter was only 14 months in between her and her sisters so we had the big kids and the babies right? So 
we always put the babies on the bench. <laughs> so my, my daughter, um, she sent a little, a little picture of her kids. She said, we got our new dining room table. Babies are on the bench. <laughs> oh, it cracked me up. And what's funny about that is the last time we were at my oldest daughter's house, you know, I told you we helped them move and, <laughs> and, um, she got a new dining room or not a new dining room set, but she got a bench to go with her dining room or her dining set. So she's putting babies on the bench too. And then it was funny as my kids got older, um, whenever they would have a boyfriend or girlfriend over for dinner, they had to sit on the bench. <laughs> so I said to Mike, well, we did, we did create one, um, tradition in our family that is, is carrying on <laughs> in their families. Okay. So I love that. That's very fun. And my other thing I was thinking of doing, now what did I do with them? Okay, I had them a minute ago. What did I do with them? What did I do? I had, I got out some pearls. I specifically got them out so I'd have them. And now I can't find them. that was my thought was I also wanted to put pearls on this but maybe not if I can't find them I wonder if I if they're under all the no huh I can't find them guys <laughs> I really can't find them okay I'm not sure it's going to work anyway because of, I hadn't planned on this but I like that so I was gonna put pearls right along there, so I'm not sure it would've worked anyway. But that's so weird that I can't find them. Uh, okay, well, maybe it was meant to be. But we're gonna let that dry a little bit, and that is going to be our writing board. And um, let me put this up. I'm, I'm serious, it drives me bananas when I can't find something. It's like, I know they were here. I'll find them when I least expect it, I suppose. So now, what's gonna happen is this board is just gonna sit in here. The, you know, obviously the signature will be sewn in and then that will just sort of hang out from from the cover like that. So that's a writing board. I hope that's what you were looking for, Carrie, in a video from me. Um, and so, yeah, so we got that done. Let's see, how are we doing? We're doing good. My next thing I think is gonna be to get the signature sewn in. Let's just flip through and make sure we have everything that we want that little guy which is just fun because we just made him today lots of different pages yeah um these are medieval mirage these are my porch prints i think anyway all the um i've just been putting all the different digitals for all these in the um, description box and yeah and then that's going to be in the middle so well let's just get clips so i think um what i might do is sew this in off camera because i just sewed in the other ones you guys saw that and i know you guys said that it doesn't doesn't matter if you've seen it before that it's it's good to watch it again but that's i think we'll just 
just go ahead and do it and see how the little end clip thingy holds down the middle of the signature there. I just saw something in my, it's in my SM Tiffany Lane stuff that I think I might like to put in this journal. So in, in my mind, this one's going to have a much more, I don't know, you know how the other, the other journal ended up having lots of little girls and stuff. This one might have more like vintage ladies or something. Okay, so that's all ready to go. This guy is done and dry, so that is awesome. I'll show you what I was looking at. I love this. I think that is so pretty. I was almost wondering if it could be, it could be a fabric flip, you know, that's just a little thinner. I think we might play with that. Do we have any time left? Oh, we have four minutes is all. But I am thinking, first of all, we need... Maybe this side's straighter. Nope, it sure isn't. Let's let's straighten it. Yep. I think we're gonna we're gonna do another video, but like this. Okay, that is not good. I did sharpen them, but it it they just don't like fabric very much. Okay. So um yeah, my next video is going to be, it's going to be Scrappy Saturday because I forgot last week. Can't be forgetting that. Okay, I'm going to go right here. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking some lace hanging down or something. Um, all my all my SM Tiffany Lane stuff over there that I just ordered and stuff. Look at that. Oh yeah, that is cute. Okay, let me go right here. Oop. Go right there. And then I'm gonna clip a little bit off this edge. And see, these pearls aren't going to matter because if you're writing on the page before, you just put the book board over it and no problemo. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to grab a blue page and just fabric tack this on. Um, and then we'll call it a video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Carrie, I hope that's what you were looking for. And you can, maybe if you get those questions, you can just say, go over to Gail's channel. She did this, she did a little video on it. Okay, good. Then that can dry and we'll figure out. Next time we work on this, we'll figure out where we want it to be in the book. Okay. Oh, isn't that pretty? Oh, I love that. Okay. Okay, I've babbled enough. I hope you all have a grateful day. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll just see you in the next video. Bye, everybody.